Hey guys, welcome to my video. My name is Jared Eaton and I'm a 60 and 110 meter hurdler for the United States of America. Last month I finished off a series of posts called My Movember. Um, so if you haven't checked that out, definitely check that out on my Instagram page. My Movember was highlighting how people are successful and win by focusing it all on losing. Now I know what you're trying to say here. Wait, how's that even possible? I think a lot of you guys during the series understood my point, but some of you guys out there was a little concerned for you, boy. First off, let me just say this. I don't think I'm a loser. So that get that out your head, right? So as an athlete or just a human in general, uh, we kind of want to just portray this grand, perfect picture of ourselves, right? On social media, especially Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You see everybody that just wants to win all the time, right? But that's not usually the full picture that you're seeing, right? We're only showing you what we want to show you. But if we're being completely honest, that's not the full truth. We also try to hide our losses and only portray that we win all the time. That's not true. Everyone takes an L. And how we deal with that is the whole key to being successful. In my post, I wanted to show you key events where I took a major loss and it ended up being a huge motivating factor for me and played a huge role in my success. As an athlete, we go through all the same hardships, same setbacks, all the blood, sweat, and tears, right? The sacrifice, all the losing that we do is universal. And so what I wanted to share with you guys were three key main points. One, how to change your perspective on losing. Two, how to deal with losing. Three, that you should always move forward from it. First is to know yourself, right? Know how you deal with adversity and losses and setbacks so that you have a formulated a plan to go through to help you overcome them in a timely manner. My thing in 2016 from the Olympic trials, I had lost months in preparation. In 13 seconds, it was over. I didn't make the team. I had to get away. I had to just sit by myself. I think I found a little, the nearest parking lot that was empty and just sat there just to process all of what happened, right? You spent months of your time, your effort, all of that stuff is over in, in the flash. And so it's okay to feel the frustration, the pain, the sadness, the anguish, just the, ah. And so I'm a little dramatic and I like to listen to music as well. So that matches my mood. And uh, I know I'm not the only one out there, but you know, I'm listening to music, I'm by myself and then I have to go eat. So I just remember going to the nearest restaurant and just picking out, eating uh, cheesy fries and hamburgers. And you know, I got a milkshake or whatever. It was just pig out, eat, eat, eat. And lastly, one of the things that I like to do is to take a shower. And now that shower is more symbolic than just rubbing all the dirt off of me. It's trying to get all that failure off as well. And all those negative thoughts that I've just conjured up and all the dramatic music, you know, that just fueled this fire out of my head. And it's my release from, you know, the track. I'm leaving the day where it was on the track. Now, the second point that I want to make is to not get stuck in that moment. There's a difference between losing and having that just completely debilitate you. An example for me was after I took that shower and went to sleep, I woke up and still had competitions to run. So my season didn't end at the trials, it continued on. And had I let that you know, race debilitate me and kind of just say, hey, I, I, I'm defeated, then I would not have been able to kind of put a staple on the tail end of my season. I continued to move forward. I had a job to do. So I didn't let that one loss, no matter how monumental it was, prevent me from continuing to move forward. You know, it's something else entirely. You can lose the battle, but win the war. And my third point is perspective. How you see this loss is everything. It's not the end of the world. Don't worry, life moves on. Make sure that you turn this into a positive moment, a motivational moment for you so that you never want to feel this way again. Use it to build off of from your mistakes and also make sure that you've learned from it, right? Learn what you did wrong and what you did right and move forward and continue to move forward. Have this motivation for me is huge. It, it, it motivated me for the next season and the whole entire year, right? I had that picture as my as my background. I was reminded constantly, daily, hourly. Every time I looked at my phone, there it was, like my face, that moment plastered there. And so that was my motivation for an entire year until I had something else to motivate me. But find the find the good in that that moment, and 
and exploit it. And use it for your benefit and, and your gain and continue to grow. So now to give you a different perspective, I reached out to some of my friends and asked them two simple questions. One, are you motivated by loss? And two, how do you deal with losing? Here are some of the answers. Hi, my name is Soy Franklin and I'm a triple jumper. When I lose, I pout a lot. Um, I have to go through the full emotion of having lost. So I make a lot of sounds. I'll just be like sitting and I'll be like, <laughs> so yes, a time when I have lost and I've succeeded from it was, um, I'm just gonna use one that I'm still working on coming back from. So this past Outdoor USA's, I placed second by this much. And um, it sucked, you know, I was a great competition, so I didn't, no, I pouted. Um, but I, I still am using that to um, push me through this fall season in training. Um, I used it for, for the rest of the outdoor season last year, which I feel like ended pretty well. And uh, I'm coming back. Hey, what's up? My name is Freddie Crittenden III. I'm a 110 meter hurdler from the US. And my homie Jared Eden hit me up and told me to discuss and talk about how I, I deal with losses as an athlete. Shout out to you, Jared. So I wanna start off by first by saying every athlete is gonna encounter loss, disappointment. Every athlete is gonna face those things, right? Every champion that you see, every record holder, every idol that you've seen before you, they have all suffered losses. But it's all about perspective. Um, perspective is something that, that you have control over. For example, my one of my races last year, Florida Relays, if you look it up, I, it wasn't my best race, but it was close to my best race. PR, PR before that race was 13.42. I can't, I, I ran that race at 13.45, which is, which is good for me because it was the beginning of the season. I'm close to where I've been before, and I was happy with that success. For me, that was a success. But if you look at the race, I didn't perform better than most people that were at that race. Grant Holloway went to that race, and he ran 13.15. <laughs> blew the whole race up, right? Ruben Walters ran 13-3 there. Gabriel Constantino ran 13-3 there. They all beat me, but I still found success in that race because that was close to my PR and that was that was the beginning of my season and I was very, very happy with that. It's all about perspective. Even in losses that you encounter, even when you lose, even when you find disappointment, you have to be able to recognize when you have success, when you have found consistency. And I think that's important being an athlete in track and field and finding those successes and using those to motivate you and keep you moving forward as time goes on. So that's the most important thing. When dealing with losses as an athlete, it's important to find perspective, take a step back, and analyze everything that you did and give yourself credit for the things that you've done. Hey guys, for those who don't know me, my name is Sandy Morris and I'm a pole vaulter, Olympic silver medalist from 2016 and 2018 World Indoor Champion. And my friend Jarrett asked me to do a little video on how I deal with losing. I hope you don't mind if I take this while walking around my house. As you can see, my lizards are in the background there. And my dog Rango is very curious about what I'm doing. <laughs> so how I like to explain it is I use any time I lose as motivation to train harder. And instead of reacting in a negative way, I react in a positive way. I like to say that there's a big difference between losing and being defeated. Now, I mean that in a sense that losing a competition, it's kind of a one-time thing, whereas being defeated is when you allow that loss to really get into your heart and your soul and affect your training. I like to say that when I lose a competition, I am not defeated because I'm gonna go home and train harder. And that is not the reaction of defeat. That is the reaction of being motivated. So there are two ways you could take it when you lose a competition. You could be down on yourself. You could cry about it. You could go mope or you could use it as fuel to want to be better. That is how I deal with it when I lose a competition. Yes, I'm frustrated. I may be angry about it but I don't let it affect me long term in a negative way. If anything, I let it motivate me for a long time, such as in Rio when I took my last attempt at the height that would have won me the gold medal and I barely brushed off the bar. 
I could have taken that in a negative way. I could have been disappointed. I could have been upset. But instead, I took it as fuel for my fire to want to experience winning the gold in 2020. And it was hard, I'm not gonna lie to you. It was difficult to take it in that way. Um, in the moment that the bar came off, there was a second when I was in the air and I thought that I had won the gold. And then the bar came off the pegs and I knew that I was taking home the silver that day. And there was a rush of emotions, very mixed emotions, but I think overall it was a big life lesson for myself and winning silver instead of gold that day will make it more likely for me to win gold in Tokyo because I'm gonna want it more than anything. I hope that little tidbit will help you guys deal with any time that you lose a competition. And remember, no one competition defines you as an athlete. I like to say that how you are defined as an athlete is how you perform over the entirety of your career. People aren't gonna remember you by one single performance, they're gonna remember the number of times that you went out there and put your heart and soul on the line. And remember, losing does not mean you have been defeated. So there you have it. There are three main points that I hope you guys take away from this video. The first is to learn and understand yourselves. Formulate a plan on how to deal with negative setbacks and adversities that happen in your life in these negative moments. Because trust me, there'll be a lot more. Two, don't get stuck in the moment. Keep moving forward. This is not the end. And three, perspective. Make sure that you see it from a different angle. Look at the silver lining. Use it as motivation for the future. Thanks so much, guys. If you like what you've seen, definitely click that subscribe button because I'll be posting more videos like this in the future. Until next time. Ma, ma, ma. view of my life of how I deal with a losing two how do I keep moving forward and three <laughs> <laughs>